Hi guys, this is Sauro. In this video, we will learn how we can create dinosaur game in MIT App Inventor. Okay, now here we go. So we are using here MIT App Inventor to create this app. First, you need to log in into this appinventor.mit.edu. Then now you have to click on start new project and that's your project name. Okay, so you just type here your project name. You can type anything here. Okay, dinosaur game. That's my project name. It means app name. Okay. Click on OK. Now here you can see that's our first screen. Okay. Now we are creating your game. So I'm going to rotate this screen. So in the right side, you can see here the option of screen orientation. So I'm going to make it portrait. You can make it portrait, landscape or sensor. Okay. So I'm going to make it landscape. Okay. This is fine. And now we will design here. Okay. Now how we can design. So first we will design the first screen. It means it start game screen. So for that, I'm going to use your one layout. And that one is you can use any layout here. That one is simple screen. Okay. Uh, with this fill parent and hide this fill parent. And I'm going to change this background color to orange something. Click on user interface and drag and drop one button here. Click on this layout and make this one align vertical to center, align horizontal to center. Click on this button and just type here start game like this. Okay. And then make sure this should be font bold and make this font size at least 20. Okay. And then we will change this button color also. So I'm going to make it this one pink. You can design this layout. So let me design this layout. So I'm going to set the background image. Okay. So open new tab and just type your game background free images. Okay. And you can see here there are a lot of images. Okay. You can use any images, but make sure you are using the creative common license images. Okay. It's this one. Right? There are a lot of images, right? So you can use all these images freely. Okay. So uh, I'm going to choose this one image. Okay. This one is fine. I'm going to save this one image. Okay. So save this image. Next stop is fine. Okay. Now go to the MIT App Inventor. Click on image option. Click on upload file. Drag and drop this file here. Click on OK. So you can see that's my image here. Okay. So I'm going to change this button. Uh, actually color is I'm going to make it uh, none. Okay. And I'm to make this uh, text color is something. This should be uh, orange or you can make it uh, yellow. Yeah, yellow is fine. And make it at least 28. Right. So this is fine. Now, whenever someone click on this start game button, so the game will start. Okay, so if you want to add some here, you know, you know, background color, something like a gray or some uh, like a uh, like a shadow color. So you can choose from here. Like if I just want to choose some shadow color here. Yeah, this one is uh, also looking fine. You can change this text color also. You can design according to your requirement. Okay, you can design a lot of uh, thing here. Fine. So that's my start game button. Fine. Now. Whenever someone click on this start game, so we have to make sure this one should be uh, visible off and we have to enable another layout. Okay, so I'm going to make it visible off and let's design our main screen. So I'm going to drag and drop here uh, uh, again horizontal scroll arrangement. Okay, this one is horizontal scroll arrangement. Make it fill parent, make it this one fill parent, right? And now drag and drop here canvas, this one. Okay, and make this one height is fill parent. Uh, height should be automatic and width is automatic. Make sure automatic. Now, I'm going to click on this background image, click on upload file, and click on choose file. Now, I have to upload your background image. So, I already have that one file. You can design this background image or you can upload this image. I will give you the assets, all that assets in the link description. So click on open, click on OK and let's see how this one look. Fine, that's look great, right? Now this one is one image, okay? Now let me run this app and how it's worked till now. Let me show you. 
that's our sketch you can see the white part okay so how we can hide it you can click on horizontal arrangement and make this background color to black okay and let's see how it's work and how it's look yeah it's look pretty simple now i just want to make it you know uh, like a that one should be at least height let me just show you fill parent and how this one will look no it's not look good no no anymore so i'm going to make it uh height should be automatic height should be automatic uh this one fine right and make this one center and make this one left is fine and you can see that one is in a center right now you can see back background with image okay it's look uh, amazing right now okay now we have to use your one dinosaur and one mon monster okay so how we can do this so i'm to drag and draw one image split here like this one and click on this picture option click on upload file click on choose file and upload this one png okay dinosaur in png click on okay this dinosaur image height is uh, 100 pixel and with this i'm to make it 100 pixel let's see how it's look yeah it's look pretty cool right now let me show you in this uh, proper game how it's look okay uh, where is my dinosaur click on it make this one x value is 0 and y value if i make it 0 then where is my dinosaur yeah that's great right so now my dinosaur in the right position okay now what should i have to do i'm going to use here one more thing is monster so let me drag and drop again or uh, you can copy and paste this one image here like this and change this picture click on png click on upload file click on choose file and here you can see the monster this one click on ok right and wait some seconds yeah that's the monster and here you can see the monster image let me refresh this and how this monster look wow that's great right so here's two things one is, uh, is the dinosaur and second one is monster okay now let me just run both okay so uh, for that okay first we have to uh, code something that we need one more image split because of we need a fire here okay whenever a dinosaur fight with this uh, monster so we will use here fire so how we can do this i'm to use your one more image split here and i'm to make this one image split pixel is 50 and make this height pixel is 50 okay and then upload let me upload one picture option click on upload file click on choose file and upload this one png here now because we have in the initial stage we have to make this one visible off okay whenever someone touch on this uh, dinosaur then we will display this uh, one image it means this one file so in the initial stage we will make it visible off right this great now let me just hide this one uh, like this one horizontal arrangement visible off and make it this one on okay and let me code for all uh, two uh, th these two designs okay for that two designs so go to the blog and whenever someone click on this button it means uh, it means this start button so we have to make horizontal arrangement should be visible false right uh, means false and then we have to make another like this one horizontal arrangement should be visible on right because we have to start our game true like this in the button click we will done this one simple code now let me just run how it's work okay so right that's the uh, background that look amazing right now let's click on start game button you can see that one is screen right now or main screen now we have to code for this screen okay so how we can code so first we have to code for we have to run this background right first main important thing is right this one so it's a uh, uh, feel like our dinosaur is running okay right so how we can do this so uh, i have to install one extension here now we have to download this scroll arrangement handler uh, extension i will give you the link of this extension okay so actually click on this download button 
okay and this will redirect you to another page okay this one some people are confusing and then click on this mirror this side this one and then you can see here is AIX file right simple now go to the MIT App Inventor click on extension click on import extension and import this extension here and click on import 